The big banner read, Welcome Ridgewood High Classmates. For some, it was a frightening experience. For others, it was an opportunity to show off how far they had come in the 15 years since leaving high school. Francesca, Frankie, Capella, was on the fence. She had built an excellent reputation in the publishing industry, marketing books for authors and publishers. But her love of music and the desire to perform had never left her. After graduating from a top music school, she had spent six years in New York City, auditioning for every part for which she thought she was suited. She had a big voice with a lot of nuance, but the producers were looking for a big nasal voice, something that made her cringe. Sure, she could sing that way if she had to, but she hated it. Why would she want to do something she hates? It took all the pleasure out of singing for her. Eventually, every singer sounded the same. She had spent too many years working on her own sound. Taking matters into her own hands, she found a producer and cut a few tracks. She got some radio airplay, but without the backing of a big record company, she could only go so far. During the years she had spent following her dream, to pay the rent she had worked as a temp for a number of large corporations, eventually taking a full-time job with a publisher of comic books. Her parents knew that working in corporate America wasn't in her heart, but it was a living, and living in New York was challenging enough. She eventually worked her way up to the top at a major publishing house, but she never felt as if she was a success, especially after the incident at the last reunion, when Drew Aikens said something right to her face. Gee, Frankie, you were such a good singer. Too bad you never made it. Those crushing words almost kept her from coming to this reunion, which included several classes besides hers. Still feeling the sting of those hurtful words, she thought to herself, maybe that creep won't show up. Frankie knew that some would be envious of her position as a vice president of a successful publisher. Her life was interesting and filled with a lot of professional events, but she still felt that a piece was missing a lover, a partner, a friend. Sure, she could have three different men, but what she really wanted was a man who was all three. Yeah, good luck with that.